Prousey, I get the feeling that this is an interview you've been uh, waiting to do for some time. Your first league goal for Southampton, how did that feel? Yeah, it was amazing. Um, it was a big weight off my shoulders. Uh, it's something I've been wanting to do for, for a very long while and obviously to do it in, uh, in front of the home crowd. And, and, and it was an important goal um, during the game as well. It was, was, uh, was massive for me and uh, a moment I'll never forget. As you said, it was a, a crucial moment for, for the team, really. Nil-nil in a, a tough game up until that point. So did you feel the, the pressure, really, when you step up to take that penalty? No, not really. I, was, I wasn't as nervous as I thought I'd be, but um, you know, I was very confident going uh, stepping up to it. And um, you know, thankfully, it went in the back of the net. And uh, you know, like I said, that was a moment I've been waiting for a very long time. Did you sort of make your feelings known, really? It seemed like at one point, Sadio Mane might have been taking a penalty, yeah. but you didn't shy away, really, did you? You went and made yourself known and, and took the penalty yourself. Yeah, see, I, was, I went for the ball straight away, and Sadio took it. And then uh, a message from the bench came over for me to take it so um, you know obviously you know thankful to Sadio for letting me take it and um, you know thankfully went in the back of the net and the feeling when it goes in everything you expected yeah it was yeah and um, you know it's great to see the, the crowd erupt and um, you know sh sh uh, bit nodded and did the Mickey Shannon to celebrate but uh, yeah the, 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 uh, the new side was all right We've, uh, we've joked about it in interviews probably for <laughs> a bit longer than we might have liked to, but yeah. deep down, has it seriously been starting to, to build and build into something you really, really needed to get off your back? Yeah, I think it is. I think for me as a player, I want to develop and, and score goals, and I think players who can score goals are obviously you know, uh, more crucial to the team, and um, if I can do that, then, then that's great for the team. But yeah, no, it's, it's, I've had a few chances and, and missed a few and started to doubt things, but you know, it's great to get the, the first one under my belt. Do you hope that this is the, the first of many? Then once you've got that one, it kind of takes that whole thing away, doesn't it? And you start to hopefully flow with a few more. Yeah, I could feel straight away that, that I had more confidence about me and um, you know, I was able to, to push on and I was wanting that sort of second goal, if you like. So, um, yeah, you know, I think it's a catalyst for change and um, hopefully a few more roll in now. And in terms of how the game played out, it was a sort of a tight, really, first half, wasn't it? Maybe a little bit disappointing from the manager's point of view, but second half, things seemed to start falling into place. Yeah, I think it was a game that we, we knew we couldn't just turn up and win. I think it was, um, you know, they made it very tough for us when we had the ball. And, um, you know, it's just great that we showed our quality and our spirit um, throughout the second half to obviously get the win. And obviously good for Graziano Pella. He was probably almost as desperate for you for a goal as well. Yeah. So he's, uh, he's going to be a happy man tonight. Yeah, no, he is. Yeah, you know, he's a, he's a terrific player. And, um, you know, it's great to see him scoring goals. And that's what he does best. And uh, it's great to obviously get his confidence levels uh, back up uh, into the remaining games of the season. Another good win then, really, isn't it? Obviously bouncing back from disappointment at Everton last week. It must be a, a good thing for the team now as we preach the, the last five or six games of the season. Yeah, it is. You know, it's not nice losing games. And last week was a game we lost that we, we didn't expect to lose. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's a great sign that we can we can bounce back from a result like that and obviously kick on now towards the last last few games. We spoke last week about maybe missing the chance to, to take advantage of Liverpool's bad defeat. It's gone the other way today, hasn't it? Obviously Spurs have lost today. You're up to fifth. You must yeah. look at that, that Premier League table and start to think that this is really, really moving into your grasp now. Yeah, I think, you know, you look at the club it's got a great uh, infrastructure uh, you know the fan base the training ground the stadium it's all built for for the european stage and i think we as players and the club are, are desperate to, to get us on that european stage and i think if, as long as we continue what we're doing then we'll, we'll get there fine when you are fifth at this stage of the season you must be thinking that it'd be an absolute shame really not to take advantage of that yeah it would be um you know a cap of a great season after the the tough summer we had and um you know it'd be great to obviously reach that european stage come into the season